Let's bring him in right now. <laughs> That's a great idea, among other virtual ideas for Hats Heroes. You founded it in 2019 to give back to first responders. This is something that's near and dear to your heart because in your family, you've had first responders. Yeah, that's correct. My, uh, my great grandfather, um, Garnet McElroy, was a firefighter in Winnipeg. So, my namesake. Uh, so, you know, it's something I've always, you know, a firefighters and just first responders in general, I've always had a lot of admiration for. So, so Garnet, people can now bid on a live auction for different kind of prizes, including, as Tony had mentioned, a home-cooked meal by you or with you? And if it's going to be by you, virtual, what is your specialty? What are you going to cook up for? If I'm going to bid on this, because I kind of like it, I'm hungry, Great what idea. am I getting from you? <laughs> Great what, what's, idea. Your, what's your specialty? Okay, so you're gonna, we're going to cook together. Yeah. Uh, and John, John Walton's nice enough to join us. Um, you know, and and donate his time to kind of do a play by play for the cooking. That's um, awesome. Once we have a winning bidder, uh, we'll, we'll I'll chat with them a little bit and we'll uh, we'll decide on the menu um, and see what they like. So I don't want to I don't want to get them stuck with something right now that they won't like. But yeah, it'll be a 30 minute experience, and uh, John will be there, and we'll be uh, we'll be FaceTime the whole time throughout it. Another of the virtual experiences, and I'm going to do my best, Jim Halpert. You know a ton about the office, and apparently you're not alone in that. So it's going to be about a half hour of office trivia. That, to me, seems like a great <laughs> opportunity. Yeah, so uh, we're going to do it. Nick Dowd was nice enough to, to hop on and, and join the, uh, the game show, as we're going to call it, with Joe Beninati as being the host. Um, the winning bidder can either go against Nick and I in this competition or... I think they'll be able to host, uh, you know, if they don't, they don't feel their office trivia is, uh, is up for it. But it's super exciting. And, yeah, like you said, we're just trying to mix it up a little bit. And, uh, you know, these virtual experiences, we wish they were in person. But, you know, we're using, using the most of it. And, uh, you know, with, with Joe there, I think, doing uh, hosting, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Great ideas. So uh, it, explain how this works. Where do I go to bid on these things? Because I'm kind of intrigued a little bit. Uh, how, how long is the auction? When does it close? How do we how do we do this? So it's closing. Uh, it's closing on December 30th uh, in the afternoon. And if you go to washcaps.com slash hats heroes, um, you'll be able to find out a lot, you know, right how to get to the auction page, as well as uh, looking at our past initiatives we've hosted um, and learning just a little bit more about hats heroes and You'll see a couple pictures of my great grandfather there as well, and um, just kind of getting a, a little background story on, you know, how we've been able to come together with the community and really support the first responders in the DC region. We are looking well at done. some very impressive numbers, indeed. Well done, indeed. I want to hit you with a number that everybody around the NHL is impressed with five consecutive division crowns. And certainly what we're hearing about hockey this season is that division play is going to be very important. This Washington Capitals culture, year after year, Ovi, Backstrom, and the rest of you, how are you able to sustain that level of not only achievement, but hunger? Yeah, I think, I think you said it's the culture um, that's in the room, and it's, it's really those leaders that that bring everybody up to speed, um, you know, and you, you look at the, the history of, you know, that winning culture and um, there's no wasted time. And it's, you know, I was, I was fortunate enough to come in last year and, and come into a room that was so prepared to win um, night in and night out. And, and it's one that it's, it's really exciting to be a part of, but every game you go, you go into it, um, you get those leaders that are, you know, just uh, giving it their all um, and knowing how important those those points are throughout the season. And then, you know, like you said, they, they've, they've won a lot, um, and we, we really hope to continue doing that. Uh, Garnet, you'd been kind of well-established into your NHL career, clearly an NHL player, had some good years with Calgary. What's it like walking into that dressing room in Washington? Because even though you're an NHLer, it still was it a little bit intimidating knowing the personalities and success that you're going to walk into. Yeah, there's... I mean, if you look at the guys that are that are in that room and were in that room before I got there, um, you know they're they're legendary names. Uh, you look at you look at Ovi, you look at you look at Nikki, um, and then you you think about like when you were watching Olympics and watching watching Osh um, and the shootout. So, you know, walking into it, um, yeah, I definitely had a lot of nerves, but I was really um, I was really welcome. It was really, you know, kind of relieved relieving to, to realize that 
just how good of guys they are and, and how much they want to win. And, um, you know, they, right from the second I got in there, it was, Hey, let's, let's get on the same page and, and let's go to work. And, you know, this is how we act. This is how we, we come to the rink and this is how we prepare. So, you know, let's, let's do it and let's do it all together. It was Arsenio Hall that began each show with, Let's go to work. Oh, well, well played. He's what too a young legend. for that. But what we're talking about, clicks. namesakes, and I definitely looked up if you were related to Anne Hathaway, because either Johnny or I loves the movie <laughs> The Princess Diaries. Uh, oh, my gosh. It turns out that you're not. Did he say, oh, my gosh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hopefully this is a rehearsal. This isn't going yeah. out on TV, is it? I think it is. Let's continue. Let's talk about hockey. NHL Network. So getting ready, going to work. Hockey fans can't wait to watch you guys play. What are you and the team doing to be ready when the time comes? Yeah, right now, uh, you know, obviously with, with the pandemic still going on and um, our team and I think across the league has done a great job of getting the guys back into the training facilities. And right now I'm, I'm down in D.C. and we have, you know, we have ice five days a week um, and we have a, a big core group of our guys um, from the team who are here training every, you know, every one of those days the rink's open. So, it's getting competitive, uh, but it's getting, uh, you know, all those guys in the room are, are really eager to get going, um, just like the fans. And, you know, we, we hope to see the fans in there as soon as possible, and we really hope to get, get these games going as quick as possible as well. All right, Garner, you can't say yourself, but every team has it. I went to a 1,000 summer skates. There's always one guy who gets pretty competitive early, who, who runs his intensity <laughs> meter right off the charts. So you can't say yourself unless it's you. Who is that right now for the Washington Capitals out there? <laughs> If I can say myself, it's probably me. Um, <laughs> no, I, that's tough. I'd say Tom Wilson and I aren't usually on the same teams <laughs> in the scrimmages. Okay. And, I see what you're doing here, yeah. And, <laughs> uh, but it, you know, it's those, it's a guy like Tom um, that makes it game-like, but, but knows, you know, the right speed to go, the right intensity to have to challenge guys and, um, and enough that, you know, when you get off the ice, you're, you still want to win for that guy. Um, it's no different. So, yeah, the games are, the mini games are fun right now um, going against Tom. But when we get in the room, it's, it's more talking about, hey, what can we do better? Um, how can we, you know, continue to evaluate our game and, um, and kind of grow in that sense? I want I'm not this... disappointing this Tom Wilson. No, yeah, no, like no. That. Somehow not that's running, not a shock. He's not running guys over, but he's just making sure everyone's paying attention. I want to respectfully <laughs> ask the Christmas tree behind you, way to be in the spirit yes. of the season, is it done being decorated because there's some <laughs> patches of green there? With all due respect. <laughs> You're lucky I have headphones in. If my wife, if my wife heard you, she would not be happy. Uh, I apologize. Um, it's a real tree. We, we went. We we looked through a lot of trees to find that one. It's uh, a beautiful tree. Beautiful. Oh, oh you're not tall enough to get to uh, the top part. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> That's more of the uh, the camera placement. If you, oh, you can, you good. can see it a little bit. Um, yeah, there's a lot of homemade. There's a lot of homemade ornaments on that tree. So beautiful, beautiful, um, gorgeous. Yeah, thanks. No Charlie Brown tree, but uh, it'll do for this year. Well done. You have been so entertaining, even more than Charlie Brown when I was a kid. And who didn't love Charlie Brown? Thanks so much, Garnet. And your heroes, what a great cause. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. That's cool.